Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be making a start menu just so we can enter the game some way. Because at this moment you can pretty much enter the game and start playing it except the shooting is a bit off but I will leave that for the last part since uh, I don't really get it either. I'm just kidding I know what's wrong but uh, let's just continue with the plan and let's start making the start menu. You can make a new scene for the start menu but I will do it in the same scene and then I will just program a bit later just so I make it uh, so, it, so it actually works so it doesn't start the game while you're at the start menu. And I really like the scene here so I think that will work pretty well. I was thinking maybe putting it some something like here and then having the start menu on the right side. We already have a canvas with a crosshair and some health and stuff. We'll make it so that gets disabled whenever we start the game, but we'll do that in the next episode. I'll go to my crosshair, pick a pop-up, background, health amount, stamina amount, and background too. And I will disable them just so I can see a bit better. And then here I will create an empty object in the canvas and call this start menu. And under here I will have all the, um, all the buttons and texts. I'll go right click UI and then I will... Start, uh, I will have a new button and this button I will well I won't rename it I'll just go to the text and stay start uh, start game and you can change the font I'll set mine to 24 and you can change the size and everything that you like I'll go back to the button and say the height is 50 and the width is 200 I think that's pretty good and I will also change the color of the button so it's a bit darker like this and I will go to the text and set the text color to white. Now that we have a pretty basic button, I will just duplicate it once more and then I will move it below. So you can see if this one, uh, if this one's position is 0, 0, 0, then I will just take this and move it on the Y axis for like minus 50. And then I can go exit game. For example, I think all we need is two buttons. I don't think we need the options button since we don't have any options to change yet. So you can basically start the game and you can exit the game. I think that's pretty simple. And then I will create a, another UI image that I will call well background. And then I will change the color to a darker gray. And then I'll change the alpha to around 200. And make sure in the hierarchy here you place it above the buttons so it's behind them. And then I will change this to around, I don't know, a thousand. Well, no, that's too much. 300 on the width and then about 200 on the height. Under the background you can create another text element that will I will rename it to title. And then I will give it here like FPS game. In Unity. You can see that it's a bit too small. I'll set the size to 34 and I will also go and change the height to around 50 and the width to well I don't know how much. I'll just set it to 500 then and I will change the color to white as with all the text. You can change your font. I will not because uh, well I like it like this. And then I will change the width of the background to around 350 just so the title fits. Right now if you play the game, you will have this UI but you won't be able to click it because we'll do the programming in the next episode. Later on, once we add the sound, we can also add some UI elements to, uh, to be able to enable and disable the sound. But as I said, this is a pretty simple episode. We don't have too much to do. We just need to do this. Next time should be easy also, we'll just uh, start using these on-click uh, functions right here. But for now, I think this is pretty good and hopefully uh, you enjoyed this. Hopefully, well, you learned something new and uh, you can go follow me on my social media and um, hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.